for these things, which are darn expensive. Jardians in Vokana Farsig. Of course, your insurance company will pay for it. The government will pay for it. But the, the drug companies, they're drooling over this financial windfall. And that's why we get these commercials. You cannot go an hour on TV without seeing a commercial for either Farsiga, uh, Jardians, or Invokana, which is the one that just gets my goat the most. So it poisons the kidneys. It forces them to dump out sugar. For millions of years, we didn't have sugar, and the body evolved a system for sucking it up. Well, Farsiga takes care of that. Reading from the package insert, I should say Invokana, it, this is a package insert of Invokana. Invokana is, and this is what they call it now, an S inhibitor. Technically, a sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitor. SGLT2 inhibitor. I'm going to call it an S inhibitor or a kidney inhibitor. It inhibits the kidneys from sucking, back, from, from sucking the sugar back up. Now remember, diabetes affects the kidneys. If you have diabetes, you have blood sugar problems, it's not very long before you're going to have a kidney problem. In fact, the number one cause of kidney disease is diabetes and blood sugar problems, even if you're not diagnosed, because sugar caramelizes things, and it caramelizes tiny little vessels. The worst things that can, the, the most significant things that can get caramelized, and just think of caramel, chewy, sticky caramel in your mouth, you know? The stuff that sticks in your teeth, that's the stuff that's in your blood over time, and that obviously mucks up the works. You know, there's an old joke about, or not a joke, but an old wives' tale that when you're mad at somebody, you put sugar in their gas tank. Well, it's the same idea. Sugar destroys things. Little bit you need, small amounts you need, but lots of it destroys things, especially destroys small blood vessels in the eyes. That's why eye disease and diabetes go hand in hand. Blindness and diabetes, glaucoma and diabetes, cataracts and diabetes. The uh, tiny blood vessels in your fingers and toes and your extremities, that's called neuropathy. Nerve pain associated with breaking up of these blood vessels. Diabetes is a cause of amputation of toes and fingers and hands and feet. And the tiniest blood vessels of all, or maybe the tiniest blood vessels of all, in the kidneys. So you got a, you got a disease that affects the kidneys. Now you're going to take a drug that affects the kidneys. Does it, who came up with this idea? Why? How can a medical professional think this is okay? You got a blood sugar problem which affects the kidneys. So now you're going to take a drug which especially shuts down or inhibits kidney function. Oh, but you're going to block your glucose. That's true. You're going to your glucose is going to uh, you, is going to be dumped out. You know, you're going to block resorption of glucose, sure, but now what? What's the next step? And not only, by the way, is kidney damage going to be a problem, but now you've opened up this entire Pandora's box of other side effects. By messing around with the resorption process, the sucking up of sugar process, you're going to lose other things because resorption of, of minerals is important, too. It's not just sugar that's get, that gets resorbed. Calcium gets resorbed. So... As you're losing sugar, you're going to be losing calcium. This is one of the side effects of, of these kinds of drugs. Loss of calcium, bone fractures, kidney stones, fatigue, depression. Did your doctor tell you that if you're on Invokana? Well, it can't help but happen because you can't. It's a system. The kidney is a system. You can't just knock out one little piece of it. You're going to knock everything out. So not only will you not be resorbing glucose, but you're not going to be resorbing calcium either. All right, I'm Farms Spam. I'm going to finish up when we come back from our break, and we'll get your calls, too. 844-236-6010. More and more. Welcome back to The Bright Side. Farms has been here. 844-236-6010 is our number on The Bright Side, and we do have a fully open board for you. If we don't want to get any calls, i got a ton of letters here that I've been meaning to read. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or diabetes, which we're talking about here, anti-diabetic drugs. If you're on an anti-diabetic drug and you want to get off of it, or if you have a question about the longevity business, or if you have a success story, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you've used any of our truth treatment products, love to hear from you. What would you think of our retinol gel, if you've used that? I know I've sold hundreds of those things since we started selling them on uh, almost a, well, April. It'll be a year. If you've used the uh, retinol or any of the truth treatment products, love to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. So Invokana, Farsiga, I don't even know how they come up with these names. That's, that's an interesting 
somebody should look into that. I have never been able to figure out how they come up with the names. Forsega, uh, Jardians, and Invokana. There's the latest S inhibitor drugs. They inhibit S, which is a, uh, an element of the kidney that dumps out glucose or absorbs glucose, I should say, and by inhibiting it, glucose gets dumped out. But so do other things. That's the problem. You can't just target one thing. The dirty little secret of all medicine. You can't just target one thing. The dirty little secret of all drug medicine. You can't just target one system. They call them side effects. They're not side effects. They're effects. The, when they call them side effects, that makes you think that they're like a little oopsie, you know. You know, uh, that's just a little thing that you get on the side. No, it's an effect. It's not a side effect. It's an effect every bit as much as the effect you're looking for because drugs affect things. They create changes in the system. You can't just have a drug that affects one system. So with Farsiga and, and Invokana and Jardians, these S inhibitor drugs, yeah, you'll, your body will dump out glucose, but guess what? It's also going to dump out calcium. And that's why bone fractures are a major side effect. Not to mention the fact that now you're toxing out the kidneys, which is one of the major targets for sugar toxicity. That's why if you look in the package insert, it'll tell you right in the package insert, and we should all be reading the package inserts if we're going to be taking drugs. Everybody needs to be reading the package insert. If you are going to take a drug, it'll tell you right in the package insert that it's going to, uh, uh, where is it here? Invokana increases serum creatinine. That's a measurement of, of kidney damage. Decreases the filtration rate. That's a measure of kidney damage. It decreases kidney function. And you're already a diabetic. This is the nonsense, the crazy of this model of drugs. Oh, there's more. So your calcium, and this is absurd. So your calcium, uh, it, it causes a, uh, an increase in, in the uh, loss of calcium because you're losing glucose and you're losing calcium together. That affects stone formation. So now you've got to deal with kidney stones. It's going to make you more tired and fatigued. Your cells aren't going to work as well. And now you've got low calcium. So your parathyroid hormone, which smell, senses, senses calcium in the blood, now your parathyroid hormone is going to go up, which in turn is going to lower vitamin D, and that causes another whole slew of problems. Heart disease, autoimmune disease, cancer. And your calcium might go up, but your potassium, you're going to end up with uh, elevated potassium too because potassium is balanced with calcium. So now you're going to be at, rich, uh, at risk for hyper, they call it hyperkalemia, too much, cal too much potassium. You got all of these problems. They're all tied into things. You can't just take a drug and not expect to get other things happening. Oh, and uh, you, with your elevated uh, par parathyroid hormone, now you're going to be at risk for potassium or, or phosphate deficiency. That can lead to depression. And that can lead to a problem making ATP, which is involved in energy. This is all from just one drug. And when you're low energy, by the way, you may crave sugar. So in this weird indirect way, when you take your Invokana to lower your blood sugar, you're going to crave sugar via all of these other things that happen in association with the body dumping out glucose. It sounds ridiculous. I know. It sounds confusing. It sounds like a big mess. And it is a big mess. That's what happens. It's a big mess to the body. It's bad science. But we're not told this because of the billions, trillions of dollars in profit margin that are to be made here. But who's responsible ultimately? We are. And we can take control of this whole thing. You don't need a diabetes doctor. It's not, a, uh, it's not like we're condemned to diabetes. It's a lifestyle issue. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll finish up talking about uh, blood sugar, and I'm going to get into some stuff about inflammation. I'm going to talk about the lymph a little bit. We haven't talked about the lymph in a while, and that's involved too. The lymphatic system is your circulatory system for, for fats and for fatty vitamins, and super-duper important when it comes to disease, also for steroid hormones. We started off this whole dis discussion talking about steroid hormones and vitamin E. And uh, oh, so much to talk about. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Melody, welcome to the bright side. What's going on? Hi, Ben. Good morning. I had a question. It's for a family member. It's regarding my brother. He, um, when he was five years old, he's 36 now. When he was five, he stopped talking. He, um, so he's been diagnosed as autistic. Mm. And he doesn't really talk. He doesn't communicate very well. So mm -hmm. I'm his caregiver, and I wanted to know specifically diet and supplement dose. Sure. He's on the Healthy Start Pack. He's Is on he a definitely autistic? 
I'm sorry, hang on just one second, Melanie. Is he definitely autistic? Do you know that for a fact? That's, no, no, okay. they, that's what they, 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 they don't know what he has. They don't know what happened. Okay. And, um, so Is, I'm taking care of him. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's an you know, interesting job. Are you getting paid or are you just doing this voluntarily? No, I mean, he lives with us. And oh, so that's he's, pretty he's awesome, pretty, Melody. Yeah, he's he's very low maintenance. I mean, he goes to the yeah. program. He's he's pretty happy, but he's emotionally disconnected and he can't talk. So I know he's got issues because of the symptoms. Any other um, issues aside from being mute or not talking? Are there any other issues, health issues? Well, physically, yeah, he's he's very. He used to have a lot of um, asthma, and that's okay. been. He really doesn't have that anymore. I really changed his diet, like like the no sugar. He does awesome. Like, soups. I cook a lot of them. Um, awesome. I took him off of um, like very low carb. He's on the healthy start pack. You know, nice. Stuff, but I just don't think he's getting enough of what he really needs, and it's okay. more like of a dosage thing. Yeah. Let's let's talk so about that's that a little what bit. I really need help with. Okay. First of all, for anybody out there listening, and also for you, Melody, uh, there's a really neat book on autism and the di- and uh, the digestive system called the Gut and Psychology Syndrome Gap, and it's, some people call it the Gaps Diet. Doctor Doctor Natasha Cam- Campbell, I believe, is her name. Um, and it's it's an awesome book about the link between the digestive tract, the intestines specifically, and the brain and, uh, in autism. So autism needs to be regarded first and foremost as a, a food issue, digestive issue, food allergy issue. Secondly, autism is kind of an interesting diagnosis. What is it really? There is a, there are some symptoms like disconnection and, and sometimes there are people or kids are mute or there's violent behavior, there's sensitivities, emotional sensitivities that are associated with autism, but I'm sure not sure it's something that needs to be medically treated. However, from a nutritional standpoint, you want to think about those two systems if you want to deal with it nutritionally, the digestive system and the brain. All right? Digestive system, that means all the things that you're doing. Low sugar, Look for food and into- uh, digestive intolerances and eliminate them. I didn't hear you say probiotics. I assume he's on one of the probiotic supplements. If not, he should be. Uh, a nightly essence, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Fermented foods, if you can get him to do fermented foods, awesome. All fermented foods. Get a book called The, the uh, Art of Fermentation, author named Katz, K-T-Z. Great book. Uh, and there's a ton of other things. Hang on, because we've got to take a break, Melody. We'll, okay. Don't go away. We've got a few more things to say. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We're talking to Melody in California about autism. So uh, two places you want to work, uh, Melody, are the brain and the gut. Uh, it sounds like you're doing a lot of things already with the ketogenic diet. You said the ketogenic diet or the, the low-sugar uh, no, diet? No, it's not. Yeah, it's low-sugar, low-carb, well, and mostly like liquids. Like you said, it's the less amount of stress on, on his digestive system. Good for but you. It's very lean. Okay. And it doesn't matter how much I feed him, he doesn't put on any weight. So that's why I think there's something going on in his gut. Then do the whole food diary thing. And I don't know how close you are to him, but have him check his bowel movements. That's your best indicator of what's going on in the gut. Uh, a lot, there's a, a lot of problem. Autistic kids, anyway. Um, I haven't. I don't know. I can't say the same thing for autistic adults, but autistic children, classically, will have all kinds of bowel movement, gas, digestive issues, cramping, bloating. It's pretty classic. So uh, do the food diary thing or have him pay attention to his foods. Let him know that there's a, a link between his foods and, uh, and specific digestive symptomology, and then you're going to eliminate those foods. Of course, dairy and grains are always the, those are always the first two things to think about, but it could be anything. Even vegetables can do it. Uh, probiotics, fermented food, extremely important. Fiber, extremely important. Make sure he's using the nightly essence and the Fucoid Z, which can be very helpful. Six, uh, nine capsules of each, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night of each. Fucoid Z and nightly essence. Enzymes can be very helpful for autism. Digestive enzymes, because these, uh, a lot of the problems associated with, with the food uh, uh, inflammation and food and, and, and symptom link, where we eat foods and then we have inflammatory problems or autistic problems, has to do with foods not getting processed correctly because of enzyme deficiencies. So using digestive enzymes can be very helpful for folks dealing with blood issues or blood toxicity issues from food, leaky gut syndrome. You break up the foods with that, and this is especially important for autoimmunity. It doesn't get talked about anywhere near enough. 
Yeah, we talk about the foods, the link between foods, leaky gut syndrome, food particles getting into the blood, inappropriately initiating an inflammatory response. We talk about that a lot. But what we don't often say is that enzymes can help, whether you're taking them in the ultimate enzymes or whether you're getting them in food enzymes, veggie enzymes. Digestive enzymes can be, 